Are you or anyone you know actually wants harm to others? Like actually wants others to feel bad? The reason I'm asking this is because whenever I get a negative comment on one of my YouTube videos, someone will say something like, oh, hey man, you don't even have testosterone or you're a virgin, uh, go back to doing your neurology degree. Um, you, uh, you had to get married in order to bang someone. Uh, you're not a player, you can't get any girls, right? Like stop talking about testosterone. Uh, uh, you, you know, you're, 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 you're weak, you don't have muscle. Like there's people who say these types of comments in, in my videos, right? And it's really weird for me because I'm surrounded physically by people who are really nice, right? People who give me compliments all the time in terms of how I look, and they're very loving and very charming and even uh, 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 you know some comments I'll get like oh man you're narcissistic you don't even have charisma right like stop being a fraud stop being a scam like everyone is entitled to their opinion and 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 it's like I I, I totally respect you know what people have to say but are you this type of person like because the reason this is really weird for me, and sorry if there's wind here because I'm uh, in a, in, you know, surrounded by a jungle and there's a lot of wind, but if you are the type of person who actually wants to inflict harm to others or cause shame to others, because what I know someone who, um, she told me that her sister was, actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there, but, <laughs> I know families where siblings try to hurt each other by saying bad things and literally causing harm to that person, like saying the meanest, meanest stuff. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because I do not feel that in my body, right? Like when someone says something negative to me, I do feel bad, like I feel something inside, like a negative emotion inside. But I cannot remember when I wanted harm to someone else, like where I wanted to hurt someone else or I wanted someone else to die or I wanted someone else to suffer. Like this sadistic, right? Sadism it's called, when you feel good about causing harm to others, right? There's this dark triad that Jordan Peterson all, always talks about, right? Narcissism, Mach Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. And then there's the fourth one, the tetrad, which is sadism, where you actually feel good when someone else is in misery. And the, the Germans have a term for this called schadenfreude, right? This is literally it, like you, you feel pleasure from someone else's misery. Now, I personally, like I know it a little bit, like I, I know it a little, right? Like I can feel that, oh yeah, I want this person to get hurt but it's so little, right? But it's, it's so strange for me when I hear things like that where I wanna study it more. Like I wanna study this, I really wanna understand this deeply because it's such, such a cool thing. So my request is if you are this type of person that you, be, you, you wanna cause harm to me, like you wanna say bad things to me, you wanna troll me, or you want me to suffer in some way, or you want me to feel ashamed, or you want me to uh, 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 like, like, like feel bad when I look at myself in the mirror, or you want me to feel that my purpose is wrong, or you want me to question my own belief system, right? And, and really cause me harm. If you are this type of person, message me below. And I want, I'll give you my Instagram, or, or actually DM me on Instagram, it's doc.farhan. And I want to have like a FaceTime with you or a Zoom or like, a, like an Instagram video with you because like privately, like it's not live or no one's going to see this. I'm not going to record it. I want to get to learn about you, right? Because Jordan Peterson says that 3% of the world is this dark triad. And it could be that th this 3% actually want the world to be destroyed. In, in a recent interview with Elon Musk and, and Joe Rogan, Elon said that George Soros, which is this big billionaire, one of the richest people in the world, genuinely wants the world to end. 
Like he wants the 8 billion people in the world to become zero, right? And we know the Columbine shooters, like Eric Harris and Dylan, Eric and Dylan, the, the book Columbine, I've read like half of it and, I, and I'm trying to understand it. They wanted the world to end, right? They wanted destruction to the world. But I can't feel that. Like, I, I don't know how that feels because everywhere where around me, I have loving people. Like, it, it's so great to be here in Tulum. Maybe it's Tulum, maybe like being around hippies. It's such a loving, beautiful vibe that when I hear this in a, like a negative comment or something in a comment, I, I feel so weird about it. I'm like, what type of person is this, right? Like, is this type of person so sad and depressed that they want to inflict harm on others? Like, I, I know how the science works, right? I know that in rat studies, when one rat has high cortisol levels and he ends up biting another rat, that other rat who got bitten, his cortisol spikes, but the rat who bit the other rat, his cortisol decreases significantly. And this is what humans are doing too, I guess. Like we're biting each other to reduce our stress level. So when I get a negative comment, I guess my perspective should be, wow, this person is so sad, so depressed that I should feel pity for this person, right? So again, man, I, I'm just here to understand this, this this uh, sadism, like if you are this type of person that you feel good, like you like insulting, you like leaving negative comments, you like people to feel bad and like you want people to react to you and, and like get depressed because of what you said. You wanna cause impact in the world. You wanna cause destruction in the world, like destroy humanity. Th that does exist, right? Cain killed his own brother Abel and I've learned all this dark triad stuff from Jordan Peterson. Thank God for Jordan. And uh, he's all the time bringing up the dark triad in his videos, all the time. Like no matter what, he's like, oh, you know about the dark triad? You know about these three and this is the research? And it's just, I guess it's hard to encounter people like that because only 3% of the world is like that. So, and, and especially being in a place like Tulum where maybe it's like, 0.3% or like 0.03%, I don't know. But my request is, if you are the type of person that wants harm and, and, and really loves and enjoys when something bad happens in the world, like a right now what's happening you know, in, in Israel and in, in Palestine, like if you feel good about that, like you get some kind of pleasure from that, like I wanna learn about you. I, I genuinely wanna, like I want you to teach me how that is. So, so send me that DM on Instagram and I'll be very happy to talk to you on the phone and understand you better. You'll understand me better and we'll make the world a better place or in your case, uh, maybe you wanna, somehow you're gonna make it a worse place by learning from me because I believe that there is a dark side in, in me that I may not be aware of, right? And I don't know if I wanna become aware of that. Like Jordan Peterson always says, become a monster. Like you, you, if there's one thing you can do, you should become a monster. But this monstrosity, I wanna understand it, but like I have nothing but gratitude in my life. Like I have nothing but pleasure and, and good things happening all the time. Every day is an amazing day. Like 4.30 a.m. or sometimes 3.30 or sometimes three or sometimes four. But on average nowadays, it's like 4.30 a.m. when I wake up. That's the best time of the day when I wake up. And I'm like, thank God I'm still alive. I get to do work, I get to enjoy, I get to eat great food, be in an amazing environment, surrounded by amazing people, have a beautiful wife around me. Like, it's just, uh, you know, having beautiful parents that love me, my, my brother, like, I don't know, I feel really lucky to be alive. So maybe we can learn from each other. And, or if you know someone like that, have them DM me. I wanna learn from this person, man. Like, and also, I want you to comment below have you encountered people like that? And what are, what are the lessons you've learned in life when it comes to ha people trying to sh shame you, right? Make you feel bad, make you feel that you're ugly so you don't uh, uh, improve yourself or make you feel like you're fat and you're never gonna uh, lose weight, right? So you, be, you eat more bad food, you eat more junk food or, or you're poor and you're never gonna become rich. So now you go become addicted to alcohol or drugs and you go broke even more. Have, do you have lessons like that in your life? If you do, please let me know. And uh, I would love to learn.
All right, guys, that's the video for today here in Jungle Gym. Uh, thank you so much for listening, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Keep sleeping well, eating well, uh, follow the 52 secrets. I think there's gonna be a three or four days off. Uh, we're taking a few days off and, and doing other content and focusing on other things, so you may not see those 52 secrets, but, but please go look at the channel, follow those 52 secrets to double your testosterone levels, Join our Facebook group. It's an amazing community. It's called Afro D Nation. The link is in the description. I would love to, to communicate with you and meet those 11,000 people in the group who are amazing, like-minded people who care about health and fitness and improving themselves every single day. As men, we gotta encourage each other, right? Like, let's encourage each other. And you see someone working out, give them a high five, smile at them. You know, you, some, you see someone eating healthy, doing a meal prep, um, eating high quality meat or high quality fruits, organic food, compliment them, like give them a high five. Really, really, let's start encouraging each other, guys. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow.